have so much fun today. Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Today is going to be a lot of fun today, and maybe a lot of work. Today is day one of our Walk Fit Challenge. What is that? What does that even mean? I don't know. We're going to explain it. The Walk Fit Challenge is a 12-week challenge for you just to get healthier. We just want you to be healthier. It's not about, you know, going to the gym for three hours a day for, you know, seven days a week. This is about just walking a little bit more just to be healthier. One of the easiest exercises there is, I would think, walking, pretty simple, right? You don't need yeah, a lot of equipment. You don't need a gym membership. Just plain and simple, just walking. So, so what are the benefits? Why, are do, the why benefits do we choose walking? just walking? Yeah. We're gonna take a few steps right now. Head over here to our handy dandy little touchscreen tower. Here are some of the benefits of walking. Significantly reduces your risk for cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes and obesity. Then of course it works several major muscle groups, your knee extensors, your hip extensors, and all the muscles of the lower legs. And these muscles help pump blood back to the heart and exercising them improves circulation, muscular endurance, and balance. So there you have it. Who would have thought just walking does all those things for the body? I love that it actually is pumping your blood and getting your circulation going. Walking is supposed to be one of the very best exercises you can do. So you don't even have to go to a gym. You don't have to have a treadmill. You know, if, if you want to use one, use one or, um, any kind of device you want to, but walking is the best. So that's the best way to get started and to maintain. Yes, and we're so. gonna show you a lot of different things you can do. We're actually gonna work out a little bit later to get you ready for it, um, but we've got a treadmill over here. We've got some rebounders, all kinds of fun things you can do. We're just gonna walk in place today, but we're right. gonna do some stretching, all kinds of other things today as well. Now, for this Walk Fit Challenge, we want you to set a goal. Because if you don't have a goal, you know the old saying, if you aim at nothing, you're bound to hit it. So you at least have to have a goal, exactly. You have to have some kind of goal. It could be to get, you know, a thousand steps, 5,000 steps, 10,000 steps a day, whatever your goal is. But here's what the recommendation is. And this is from the American College of Sports Medicine. That's where I have my personal fitness training license from. Anyway, American College of Sports Medicine, they recommend you participate for 150 minutes a week. Now, if you're trying for weight loss, you wanna push that number up closer to about 250 minutes a week. But now you break that down, 150 minutes is only 30 minutes, five days a week. That's not a lot to ask. Five days a week, 30 minutes. And then of course, if you wanna set your goal, if you walk at a brisk pace, of, which is about three to four miles per hour, that's average, you'll cover about one or two miles in 30 minutes. And that really, we're gonna show a roll in a little bit later on in the show, and we aren't going very fast because we're trying to get all our sound working, but right. that's not that fast. So I know I heard somebody say, but three to four miles per minute, that's, that's like I'll be per hour, running. Not per or, minute, per yeah, minute would be pretty fast. Minute. That'd be yeah. like the speed of light. I'll be running. <laughs> no, you won't be running. You're actually just be moderately. That's actually a moderate walk. Yeah, three to four miles per hour is just a, a, it's it's a, moderate. It's a decent pace. It's not like yeah. you're just walking to the store, you know, maybe a Black Friday, you're so not you're rushing. You're strolling, but, but you're <laughs> it's not. A, it's a fairly brisk pace. That's a normal walking pace. All right, so as part of the Walk Fit Challenge, we want you to be able to count your steps. So you're going to need some kind of device. Um, Google Fit has one, of course, Apple has one. Apple has here's the, the here, Here's the cool thing, almost every smartphone has one built in. So True. Apple phones have the little red heart. You can look for the little red heart app on your phone. That's Apple's health monitor. Androids, you can download Google Fit for them. Yep. And then of course, the last That's one, Apple. you can wear any kind of wearable device. I've got a handy little Fitbit. I wear an Apple and you know, the benefit is it keeps you on track. So, and you can even just for the longest time, we just used our phones and then we stopped using our phones just because they're bulky and you know, all that other stuff. But use some kind of device because it will prompt you throughout the day. I mean, the Fitbit actually, if you don't get your steps in, all of a sudden you'll get an alarm, you'll feel a buzz and you'll be like, okay, I gotta get <laughs> so, so you really do wanna use something because it keeps you constantly a reminder of being active. And it's part of setting the goals. If your goal is 4,000 mm -hmm. steps, you wanna be able to look, oh, how close am I? How many more do I need today? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get up and run real quickly, get another 100 steps in to reach my goal. So anyway, goals are great. We encourage you to set a goal and then try to attain that goal. All right, another quick tip for you. Since we are starting this amazing walking challenge, 
one of the most important things you can do is, number one, wear comfortable clothing, but also the most important, I would say, are your wear shoes or your footwear. Good shoes. Yes. Shoes are an absolute must. Um, I had somebody ask me one day, well, so how often do you replace your shoes? Often. So when your feet start to hurt from wearing the same pair of shoes forever, that means the inside of the sole is already broken down. So, so, so important. Your feet are what carries you everywhere. So invest in good shoes. They're worth every penny. Absolutely. So, I mean, that just, that's so important to keep, take good care of your feet for the longest time. I mean, that's really key. Yeah, wear, wear the right clothing, wear the right, right shoes. Because what yeah. a lot of people will do is, you know, they get excited. Okay, my goal is, let's say, 10,000 steps a day. They jump on a treadmill that they haven't been, you know, they had to clean oh, all their, their clothes barefoot. off of it. They haven't been on the treadmill in years. <laughs> they get on it barefoot. Next Don't thing you know, that. you have blisters. Do or you get that. on a rebounder with just socks on. Next thing you know, you have blisters. Or you're wearing the wrong shoes. You have blisters. Now you can't walk for three days. Or you know, so get good, comfortable shoes. Start out, let's say, at a small pace, a thousand steps. Save 2, your old shoes for doing yard work or whatever you're going to yes, do. Absolutely. But don't use them to go for a walk, especially if you first start out. Another thing is your clothing. Make sure that you wear, like we're wearing just nice, comfortable clothing today so that we could go for a long walk. Um, if you're gonna be walking outside in your neighborhood, try to wear something reflective so especially that cars can see you. Especially if it's early in the morning or late in the evening. So important. Or flashlights, they make, they make lighted hat, they make lighted headbands, they make lighted vests you can put on. I love to wear black, especially on this set. But wearing black when you're walking is probably the worst thing you can yes. ever do. Just think of it this way. Have you been driving and somebody runs across the street or they're on a bike and all of a sudden you don't see them? So that's a clue for you to really make sure you focus on being seen well while you're out walking. And depending on your environment, that's going to change what you wear. If you're up right. north and it's cold, make sure you have light things that you can layer, and then you can take those layers off so that you're not sweating inside that. If you're down in the sun, make sure you have sunscreen. Anyway, just, just use wisdom on what you're going to wear, where you're going to walk, um, of course, you can walk indoors. That's what we're going to be doing today. Actually, all these shows we're going to do here, well, most of them we're going to do here in the studio. And um, just, yeah, just show you how to walk indoors and get your steps in for today. So what are we uh, going to do? What else do we have, honey? We have some other things to talk to you about for the Walk Fit Challenge. Good shoes, comfortable clothing. But the biggest thing is, OK, let's say you're going to take, let's say, 10,000 steps, which ends up being about four and a half to five miles. That's, that's pretty good. That's our goal. That's what I want you to set your goal at, is to get to 10,000 steps. If you start at 1,000, great. If you start at 500, that's fantastic. But set your goal to try to get to 10,000. But once you get to, actually, the recommendation earlier was 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Right. So, so 150 about minutes. 30, mi 30 minutes a day, you'll end up with, depending on how fast you go, you'll end up with about 5,000 steps. Yeah, it depends, so, depends how your stride length and right. uh, all kinds of things factor into it. That's why I encourage you to get some kind of wearable device. That's at a decent pace. Device. Right. right. So anyway, what, let's say you go for half an hour. What do you do during that half an hour? If you're on a treadmill, possibly the most boring thing ever just to walk in place like a hamster and not getting anywhere. Right. Do you have a TV? Do you listen to worship music? Do you, you know, what do you do while you're on that treadmill? Or if you're outside, what do you do? Well, we can show you what we do. I mean, yes, we talk to each other and everything else, but we really want to do this Walk Fit whole segment on how do you do it and what do you focus on when you're walking. So, so here, here's our advice for the Walk Fit Challenge. This. So this is part of our Walk Fit Challenge. We actually are going to walk through the books of the Bible. Yes, yeah, so we're going to walk through the New Testament, and we're going to do it in about 12 weeks, which is actually really simple. If you only listen to about two hours a week, you'll get through it in 12 weeks, New Testament only. So here's how Lori and I do it. I wear my phone on a little sleeve, we play it, and then we'll just listen to the word, and when something impactful hits us, I'll pause it, and we'll stop and talk about the scripture. And So here we go, Book of Matthew. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. So now you can see that's what we do, and I love that. I mean, that 
There is nothing better. We actually will read, hear, listen to the Bible and keep listening and all of a sudden one of us will get something from the scripture and we'll pause it and talk through it. We don't get very that. far. No, we don't. We're like get, four verses. Right. Oh, wait, 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 pause it, pause it. <laughs> and then you get a revelation. Then right. It's almost like a Bible study. So it anyway, really that's is. part of the Walk Fit Challenge. We want you to walk through, uh, pun intended, we want you to walk through the right. New Testament with us. It's like I said, it's really simple. The New Testament's a lot shorter. There's a ton of audio Bibles out there, all kinds of apps that you can listen to. And I mean, what a great way. Get on a treadmill and just put in your ear pods and just listen to the Word of God. And it's it's just amazing, amazing way to do it. Um, and like I said, it, a couple hours a week, you're going to get through the whole New Testament in this 12-week challenge. Fantastic. And so give us your feedback. So go to ChristianFitnessTV.com, send us your feedback, say, oh, I listen to... Of course, we encourage you to start at Matthew and you know, work your way through. Matthew. But yeah, take, oh, I listened to Matthew too, and I got this scripture. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this scripture really spoke to me because whatever it was. And anyway, that's what we do. And Lori pulled a scripture from us walking the other day. It's Matthew one twenty one, and this is from the Passion Translation. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Savior, for he is destined to give his life to save his people from their sins. You know, I there's so much that jumped out at us from that, but I mean, Jesus was born to save us. He was born to die to give us life. I mean, it, it's so simple. There, that, that's the gospel that's, message. That's that it. is the good news he's that he there came to, to save, save us. us. Right, and he, he didn't come to persecute us and to judge us and to right. strike us down. And uh, you know, he came to save us. Came to Not, save a savior us. is the Messiah. Right. So that is the good news. I mean, and, you know, you've read that a million times, or you may have read it a hundred times or twenty times. But as you're walking and you're really just focusing on the word, and, and we love to do it out, and as you saw, that roll in was us in a park. We love to go out into nature and and um, just lots listen to the word. Yeah, lots of parks in, in the area of Florida that we live. And you know what's a fun thing? We're listening to this together, and you know we've got the armband on. Well, as we're walking, other people hear the gospel. So. <laughs> Don't be surprised if somebody stops you or if the Lord prompts you to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. But it's such a great way of just walking out the Bible and letting the Bible speak to you and by just listening, listening, and then expect to receive something. So yeah, your goal. Which we do. So the Walk Fit Challenge isn't just trying to get X amount of steps. It right. is to get healthier, but it's also to get into the Word. I mean, why exactly. not combine the two? Who likes to exercise? Walk out your salvation. Oh, oh, that was bad. <laughs> hey, honestly, who likes to exercise? Most people do not like to exercise. They get their gym membership and then you know, go true. for a week and then you know, it just but sits walking, there. But walking, I mean, the benefits for walking, and we love to walk. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we love walking, so. So join us for the Walk Fit Challenge. Give us your feedback at ChristianFitnessTV.com. And actually, we heard from someone recently. And oh, this was so they, good. They, they took a new job. They took a new position. Right. And they were telling me this is so that good. they said, Robert, man, I lost like 30 pounds just in six, the last two months. Last 60 days, I've lost 30 pounds. I said, well, what did you do? They said nothing changed at all. Their diet didn't change. They didn't right. change any habits. Nothing changed except they started working in a warehouse and they average about 15,000 right. steps a day. So imagine that. Our goal here for the Walk Fit Challenge is to get you to 10,000 steps. What do you say? The weight just came off. Yeah, the weight just came off from all of the walking that they did. But that's, I mean, 15,000 steps. That is, that is a lot. A, that's a lot of walking in one day. But do you think if he walked 15,000 steps five days a week, that's a lot of walking. So naturally, you're going to walk weight off. Absolutely. And that's why we want to do this. Oh, we were at a... Well, I wouldn't say there now. Was it Lowe's? I was at Lowe's one day. You know how giant Lowe's and Home Depot and those where those kind of <laughs> well, warehouses right. are. I was talking to an employee at Lowe's, and they said, "Yeah, they get twelve to fifteen thousand steps in every, every day, day, which so, is great." Anyway, that's an encouragement for you out there. But yes, send us your feedback. Tell us your testimonies. Tell us how the Walk Fit Challenge is working for you. And if you can get to fifteen thousand steps, man, that would be amazing. I would love to hear about that. What else do we have, honey? We have our keys to walking. What are our four keys our ki for walking? Okay, these are really important. I know they don't, it's like, why are these here? Well, you'll find out because they all matter to how you walk out every single day and keep yourself healthy and strong. So flexibility is the first key. 
Flexibility, of course, we'll go through them real quickly. Flexibility, balance, balance strength, and strength, endurance. So those endurance. are the four things we're gonna work on here on the show. So what we encourage you to do, walk on your own. I mean, cause we're, you know, <laughs> we're not gonna take the whole show just to walk we're with you. We're gonna just walk in front of you on the right. show. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll just stand here and go like this for half an hour. No. We wanna walk. give you some motivation <laughs> and some facts. Right, walk so. on your own. But in order to walk successfully, we want you to be flexible. Right. You wanna have great balance, you wanna be stronger, and you wanna have the endurance to do it. So those are some of the keys that we're gonna work on here on the show. Because, I mean, one of the biggest risk factors at most places of employment are falls. Yep. Just walking, tripping, tripping on something. Um, so flexibility is going to help you with that. Balance, of course, Balance is going to help is you with that. Balance is extremely important. Strength, absolutely. And then endurance to be able to go for that 10 or 15,000 steps. Mm -hmm. So why don't we get started? Okay. We are going to actually do a little exercise with you today. We're going to work on your flexibility. And I would encourage you, anytime you go walking, start with this or start with some kind of stretching, flexibility, stretching, yes. same thing. What I love to do is just roll your ankle. So you point your toe down and we just do little circles. You can go clockwise to start with. Go clockwise with your ankle and then go the other direction, counterclockwise. Just you wanna limber everything up. In addition to the flexibility and stretching that we're doing, that also heats up the muscles. It gets the blood flow going. So you don't just want to start out cold and just start walking right away. You want to actually loosen up just a little bit. So other Have foot. you ever done that? Have you ever started just, you got up early and just said, okay, I'm going to start walking and you start walking and the next thing you know, your feet hurt or, or you, you have cramp. shin splints. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> you take three yeah. or four steps and go, oh, right. oh, oh, I'm cramping. Right. <laughs> so the whole key to starting out your walk is spend a little bit of time warming up, so important. Here's a really, really good one. Just put your heel down and pull your toes back as far as you can towards yourself. And you are going to feel that You're on gonna the feel back it a couple of places. Calf. You're gonna feel it on your hamstring, which is the back yep. of the thigh. And, and the you're also gonna feel it on both sides of the calf and the front of the shin. Because one of the most common injuries from walking, especially walking extended periods of time, are gonna be shin splints. So you want to actually stretch and really work the flexibility of the front of the leg. If you're getting shin splints, you're not warming Go, up and you're probably not wearing the right shoes. Or you just took off like we do and go, let's walk five miles, you know, immediately. <laughs> yes, so. please start off slowly. <laughs> If you're not used to walking, yeah, if you're try not used to five walking, minutes. Build up to it. Two minutes. Or don't five do what minutes. we do and just go out and walk five miles and Okay, good. Still working on our flexibility. If you have something close by, you might want to put your hand on it. You can put your hand on your, on your spouse or your friend <laughs> or your couch. But we wanted to see if you can just grab your foot and pull it up behind you. And you're gonna to want to, it's gonna stretch the front quad. But also if you can grab your toes, again, if you pull your toes back, you're gonna stretch the front of the shin. Oops, sorry. Putting one arm out helps you balance, especially if your wife is grabbing you, <laughs> <laughs> pulling on you. I was trying to really pull on my toes. Good. And I Switch sides. The more I pulled on my toes, the more I felt like I was going to lose balance there. Now, balance actually is. We're working flexibility here, but we're also working balance. So we're kind of combining our first two of the four keys. Good. Now we're just going to step out. We're going to be opposite. Yeah, that's fine. And on this, you want to push your hips forward. So again, you're going to stretch the back quad. You're going to actually work an isometric strength building on your front. And when you do this, try to push your heel down to the ground. Oh, again, now I know what I'm touching. Again, you're going to elongate the back of the calf. You're going to feel again. this in your calf. Yeah, this will really Definitely feel, gonna this. feel this. This is a great one just for 30 seconds aside before you go walking. So if you only had you know one or two minutes before you went, I would encourage you to do the okay, let's switch feet. I would do the ankle rotation that we did and then do this one. This actually feels really good. <laughs> Look forward to the stretches. I mean that's really spend some time doing that before you just take off. And here's something a lot of people will neglect. You'll think, oh, I'm walking, so I need to get my legs and my ankles loose. A lot of people will forget that it's also gonna include your torso and your upper body. Right. When you start going for long periods of time, long walks, if you don't have proper posture, mm -hmm. you can feel it between your shoulder blades and the back, you can start to cramp in your shoulders. If you're, you know, if you're pronated, you wanna actually open up your chest. So yeah, let's just open up our chest. If you can grab your hands and open up. So good, so, so, so good. 
And then let's just pull an arm across. You know, I remember a Stretch show we did a long time ago. Keep your shoulder dropped when you do this. Mm -hmm. Don't bring Don't choke your yourself up here. Yeah. Keep it down. Keep your just shoulder it. dropped, but then just pull. I remember um, we were uh, doing a show, and I remembered watching one of our dogs. We used to have dogs a long time ago. My, my phone is actually, the office is calling me right now <laughs> in the middle of the show. Um, I remember seeing one of our little dogs getting up from sleeping. Mm -hmm. So it's a natural thing. God Good. does this with animals where they wake up, and what do they do immediately? They stretch. They don't just get up and run. They literally stretch. Cats, I mean, what, cats yeah, are cats, dogs, I mean, stretchy when they get up. Such a, such a good reminder for all of us. So now we're just, again, stretching the obliques in your stomach a little bit. And you'll actually feel this. It'll actually start to heat the muscles up. It'll increase your blood flow. And then you're gonna be ready to walk. So that's just a couple quick, easy stretches. It's gonna increase your flexibility, but it's also gonna get you stretched and ready for your exercising. All right, so our second one. Balance. We're already highlighted. Balance. Balance. Extremely, extremely important to work your balance. Which we did a little bit of that a few minutes ago. Yeah, the one-legged one stance that we did, but right. balance, so, so important. If you think about it, when you're walking, head back over to our little walk pad over here. <laughs> I'm glad we have this giant studio we can wander around. If you think about it, as you're walking, every step you take, you're on one foot. So I'm on one foot, and then you stride, and you lift the back foot. So you're constantly on one foot. It's rare that your both feet are on the ground well, at the same time. Well, unless you shuffle. Yeah, exactly, which you don't which want you to. Which you don't so, want to ever do. In order to accommodate that, we're going to work on our balance. We just want to stand on one foot. So hold the other foot out in front of you. So I like to think of a clock. So you've got 12 o'clock, oh, and then you would move to... I guess that would be nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, and then... And then back to six o'clock. And then the difficult one is gonna be to go to three o'clock, <laughs> if you can. So you may have to bend the front leg a little, maybe touch your toe down to try to go to three o'clock. But you're gonna feel this all the well, way through yeah, the outside of the hip flexor. You'll definitely feel it in your hip flexor. And then come back. Oh. Six. Sorry. Nine. Twelve. And then the other side. Now what's fun about this is you're actually working strength to hold this leg up. You're working, the, oh you're already, I'm your, already clock's, doing your clock's it. ahead of mine. My clock is fast. <laughs> your Eastern time on mountain time. <laughs> <I'm> so... <laughs> and then of course you the nine realized, o'clock. You can't do that and start laughing, you'll lose your balance. <laughs> so. so what we're doing is just trying to build some flexibility, some balance, you can some feel strength, the some endurance. Up. Yeah, exactly. So I'm starting to sweat a little bit just mm -hmm. from these little things that we're doing. I'll tell you, this is probably one of my favorites, which we just did as a stretch. But it's also a balance if, and I'll show you a quick little tri trick, but if you can see maybe this line in where the mats are, the wider my feet are, the more stable my balance is. I mean, it's pretty easy with my feet this wide apart. So for our balance exercise today, I want you to try to get your feet closer together so that your feet are closer to one line. So I would move, let's say, right on this line. Right. So now I'm almost like I'm on behind, a balance beam. Behind each other. Right. Right. So now you've got to use a lot more muscles in your ankles, work your thigh, because right. now we're in this one little tiny balance beam line. And you're just going to hold that. Love this. And then we'll switch. So start out wide. Definitely nice will balanced. feel this in your hip flexor. Mm -hmm. So we get a nice balanced stance. And then I'm going to move them closer together onto one line. You know, I think I automatically do that. I never even thought about it, but it's just like an automatic thing for me to just get my foot right behind the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's my trainer. There you go. I have your own personal one. trainer. All right, so there <laughs> you go for balance. Our next one? Strength. Strength. Strength, nice strength. Why strength. do we need strength? You've got to have strength. You do <laughs> I mean, have to have especially strength. Especially as you go for these yes. longer these longer walks, you want to have the actual strength to do that. Um, what's great about all these exercises we've been doing, there was strength in all of those. Yes. Even though one might have, we might have mentioned that it was flexibility, there was also balance in it, there was also strength. That last one that we did mm -hmm. was strength, so let's go do it again. I think our mat is moving. So again, this same exercise. Now go a little wider on this one. And we're just gonna hold it. So again, you're building your strength. 
So I'm not as focused as much on my balance on this one, I'm more focused on my strength. And if you hold it, it's gonna be an isometric, meaning you aren't flexing the muscle. We're not doing lunges. So we're not doing any motion, we're just holding it, which is an isometric exercise, which is great for strength building. And if you feel pressure on your knee somewhere, adjust your foot. If it's out straight and you feel pressure, then bring your foot in a mm -hmm. little bit. Just yep. move around until you feel comfortable Good or switch. move up. Yeah, I would encourage you to turn your toe in just a little bit. You don't ever want to put your foot out this way that just puts too much pressure on the on knee. The, yeah. Either keep it straight or turn it in just a little bit. But come down and then just hold it. And you will really start to feel it right here. The lower oh, you go, yeah. really going to feel the strength building in that thigh, which is going to help you so much, especially you see how wide our stance is. That's going to help you on your strides. Because as you're walking mm -hmm. and you progress in your walk on this Walk Fit Challenge, you're going to want to take longer strides. So you may start off with just little tiny, little itty bitty steps, but eventually you want to take longer and longer strides and doing this flexibility this uh, strength is really gonna help you with that. Man, I feel that burning. Yeah, it's good, huh? All right, last one, our fourth key. Endurance. Endurance, everybody's favorite. You have to have endurance. <laughs> you just have to have endurance. So endurance, everything. why do you need endurance? You start going for 10, 12, right. 15, 20,000 steps. You're talking, you know, five, six, seven, eight miles. You've got to have the endurance to do that. You're gonna get winded. And you'll build up to that. So Absolutely. endurance is important. Don't get discouraged if you can't walk for 45 minutes or a half hour right off the bat. Build up to that. Your endurance will increase yes. as you continue to move forward. All right, so our endurance for today. As we said, you don't have to go outside. You can just march in place. So we're just gonna walk in place. We've warmed up pretty well. Actually, I really like a warm up with just really lifting my legs because it makes a huge difference in warming up the muscles. And here's so. one of the keys to this. The higher you lift your knee, the more calories you're gonna burn. The more you swing your arms, the more calories you're gonna burn. So That's if I true. just stood here like this, I'm not doing hardly anything. <laughs> yes, I'm walking, I'm taking steps. But you really wanna get your arms and your knees up as high as you can. And then of course, if you get some really good upbeat music, you try to stay with the beat, go as fast as you can. Unless you're still listening to the Bible, so. Then you just have to pursue just pushing yourself. And I'm sweating already. And we've got some good air conditioning here, but I'm sweating just from the stretches, <laughs> the strength building, the few exercises we did. You know, I think that's a, a good key, Rob. When you start sweating, it means you're doing really well. You're in good shape. So thank you so much for joining us today. Please go to ChristianFitnessTV.com. Give us your feedback. Let us know how your Walk Fit Challenge is going. Let us know what your favorite verse was and we'll see you next time.